everybody. Welcome to my spooky kitchen. It's your boy, Vamp Nasty. Today, I'm coming to you to teach you how to create a beautiful bloody cheesecake for all your Halloween needs. You, your friends, your family, you, you, you. It's going to scare the bejesus out of them. <laughs> so, without any further ado, oh, come on now, and to cook with me. <laughs> Here are the ingredients you're going to need. Now come with me this way, I will show you. You're going to need some chocolate graham cracker. Since I couldn't find any at my local grocery store, I just bought these chocolate graham teddy bears <laughs> on the queue. Five tablespoons of melted butter. 24 ounces of cream cheese. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. One quart. Quiet on the set. There are eggs rolling everywhere. Oh my God. One quarters of a cup of dark unsweetened cocoa powder. Four eggs at room temperature. We are going to need a vial of vanilla. A whole vial? Not the whole vial, but some vanilla. How much? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of vanilla. One quarter teaspoon of a salt. It's clearly not full. Fuck it, I don't care. Three tablespoons of a cornstarch. One third cup of heavy. Oh, that's heavy whipping cream. A little bit of red food dye. If you're too much of a pussy to use real blood. One quarter cup of a light corn syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And one quarter cup of water. First, we must preheat our oven to 325. Let's move little baby out of the way. Hello, little baby. What shall we name her? Leave a comment now. Bake 325. You must change your teddy bears from teddy bears into crumbs. As so. Ha! 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 Ah! Easy as that! Get yourself a big bowl. See that? See that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Set it down! Yeah! Now, take your graham cracker mixture, throw it into the bowl. Next, add your melted butter into the bowl and mix it up. Very nice, yes. All coated in butter. Set it aside. Take a pan. Put it down. Take some parchment paper. Put it down. Pour the mixture in. <laughs> now we're going to take our fingers and make a crust around the entire shell. Just push it out. Smash it. Smash the bejesus out of it. Fucking smash. That is how we are going to leave it for now. Now we are going to cut the parchment paper off of the sides. Get a pair of the world's smallest scissors made by the Swedes. Now, take a knife and your cream cheese. Open it up, put it into the bowl. You want all your cream cheese to be soft. So don't put it in the refrigerator before you make your cream cheese cake. I meant, yes, cheese cake. Oops. Get out of this sack, cheese. Now. I demand. Now. It burned. I hypnotized the cheese to come out of its sack. Now we take egg beater. It's time to beat the cream cheese. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be crazy. Oh my, now we have it going. It will get on your cake and everybody will be able to see it. It's going fucking everywhere, all over my spooky kitchen. 
Pour in your sugar. Give it a good banging. Dark unsweetened cocoa powder. Here it is now. Put it in. And once again, give it a little spanking. Stop now. We take one room temperature egg at a time. We crack it, put it in, beat it one per time. Crack, open, throw in. Very nice. Two egg. Egg number three. Crack it, put in bowl. One more egg, let's just keep her rolling this time. Check out this cool trick. One handed, no shell. Whoa. Ah, that's how we do it. Now, we add a few more things. Take your heavy cream, put it into the bowl. Wow, that is heavy. Now, the salt. The salt, I need to find the salt. Where's my salt? Put the salt in, very pure. Take a vanilla. This just needs to come out of here now. Now. Get up. One teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, that was a bit extra. I don't care. I'm putting it all in anyway. Now, now we mix this in. It smells like chocolate pudding. If you agree with the way that it smells, leave a comment. No. There is only one thing left to do. Red food dye or blood. Yeah, blood will work the same. What is your blood type? Leave a comment. No. If it is not red now, I don't care. That looks pretty red to me. Beautiful. Now that your cheesecake mixture is mixed, we are going to take our pie crust. I guess it, it is, is a cake crust, isn't it? And we are going to pour it into the crust. <coughs> Oops. Russell, please quiet your wine. We are trying to do something nice for the people. Take your red rubber spatula. Spatula? That rhymes with Dracula. Don't forget your eye protection from the heat of the oven. We take the cream cheese. Bake at 325 for 20 minutes. Athena, please get the fuck out of the way. Don't burn your cake. Now, we take glasses off so I can look at you better. I grab candle so you can see how serious I am when I tell you next step. You must set a time. Follow me this way. Clean off your old microwave that you never use because you're vampire. Type in kitchen timer, 20 minutes. Patience, it's a virtue. Don't retire to your coffins just yet. Wait. Now that 20 minute timer is up, we turn down the up to 225. Start again. You must set your timer. Come over with me to the microwave that we don't use because vampire. This time for 30 minutes. That is one half hour. And now we Wait. Now that you have waited, turn your oven off. Leave it in the oven until the oven and the cake completely cool off and to prevent the top from cracking. Now we will make bloody tincture to put over the top of your cake to make it extra delicious and extra spooky. To start the blood sauce, here is what we will do. Cornstarch, three tablespoons into a bowl. Two. Three. There we go. Now, take one quarter cup of cold water. Pour it in. Now we will stir it until it is smooth. Nice and stirred. Get a saucepan like this one. Set it down onto your oven. Medium heat. Pour into the saucepan. Look at my face. Now, bring this to a simmer, which I suspect will not take long because there is not much liquid in there. While we wait, we will find our vanilla. Once more, here it is. Ah, I found it. One teaspoon into the bowl. Take some more red food coloring. And look, it's blood. It is making me very hungry look at how gooey look at the goo goopity goo take your corn syrup pour that in big sticky fucking mess is the goop too much we are going to start again one two fucking three 
quarter cup corn syrup. Let's try one more time. I don't think you know what a placenta looks like. It's starting to thicken. Put in the corn syrup now. Keep stirring, keep, 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 keep stirring. Four. And now add in vanilla in blood. I mean, food poisoning. I mean, <laughs> food dye. <laughs> much better you must be ready to act very quickly because otherwise this put it into a bowl now that we have our sticky bloody sauce let this cool as is oven still a bit hot we take the pie out and we put it into the freezer the cake we take the cake out put it into the freezer that is one red bloody cheese cake. I like the way that looks. It reminds me of how my mother used to make them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Put it into your freezer. The recipe I was given calls to put it into the refrigerator for four hours, but I do not want to wait that long. So I am going to put in freezer for two and see where that gets me. Now, there is nothing else to do. Now, we wait. <sighs> yes, well, there's been, what the fucking voice am I? <laughs> it has been now about two and a half hours in the freezer. Let's see what we see. Here is the beautiful cheesecake. Look at the dark. Red blood, human blood. First thing first, get yourself a big old knife. <laughs> the whole thing is going to come with. Get out of the pan, you bastard. Wow, look at that. I'm trying to make video and you are laughing at me the whole way through. This is this is very serious. I'm just mangling this piece. It is frozen. <laughs> what a beautiful presentation. I am no cheesecake master. This is the first one I have ever made. This is looking pretty good. I believe it is time for a bit of a taste tester. Without any further ado, let's get to it. The moment of truth. It is upon us now. That is pretty good. A nice chocolate flavor with the crust. Is it actually good? Well, it's just hard to eat it. <laughs> I have to mash the fucking crust against my, the roof of my mouth. Now, let's put some fake blood. Oh, that is a big glob. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, baby? <laughs> Everything's like a tragedy. It's good, right? Yeah. The blood is not as drippy as somebody like me might like. It's so heavy, it keeps knocking over my piece of cheesecake. So hard. So hard. So hard. Look at the fake blood. I invited back my baby. What should we name her? Comment now. Let's try with the blood. It doesn't taste worse with the blood, perhaps only looks worse. I will eat one more bite. It is delicious. Oh, it is very soft. Mm, quite fantastic. There you have it. I have taught you now how to make delicious blood bread cheesecake for your next Halloween event. On any event, it will be delicious. People will say, why is it red? And you say, because Vamp Nasty told me to make it that way. You will subscribe. You will comment. You will like this video. You will listen to Raz Nasty's music. You will love it. You will become his number one fan. You will go follow on my socials. You will love me. You will see me again. Thank you for coming to my spooky kitchen for the first of four. Halloween editions of Nasty Cooks. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I sure enjoyed making this cheesecake for you. Yeah. And I will see you again very soon. Until then, remember that I am no cook. 
And I am no chef. But I am a vamp, nasty. So come on now and cook with me. <laughs>